I just got back from seeing Beauty and the Beast, and it was gay. Beauty and the Beast was gay. Beauty and the Beast was gay. Beauty and the Beast was gay. Gay, 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 gay. Baby, take a seat. It's on me. This is my show. How would Belle hold this wine? I just got back from seeing Beauty and the Beast and I loved it so much. There was an early screening of it and so of course I went and saw it. It was just magical. The music was great, Beast was super freaking cute, like oh my god he was so cute. Like, not the person Beast, but like the Beast Beast. The Beast Beast was super cute. And there were gay moments, yes Disney, yes. Cheers to Disney for its gay character. LeFou was on point. He had these moments where he was like feeling Gaston, getting dreamy eyes with Gaston. There was a scene where the wardrobe dressed up these three guys that were trying to fucking fuck up the palace. She dressed them like girls, and uh, one of them was feeling her oats, hunty. He was walking down the stairs strutting his shit. I was like, yes, bitch. And it turns out, at the end of the movie, LaFoe and that queen were dancing. There was a scene at the end where everyone was dancing, being happy, and somehow they got together and they were dancing, and they gave each other a little smirk, and it was a moment. Beyond the gay moments that I just adored, the beast was just, like, super freaking cute. I'm not going to lie, in the beginning of watching the movie. The most beautiful music rings your ears. She's really not the rest of us. She's not the freaking rest of us. <laughs> Something like that. All the girls are like talking shit about Belle when she's walking around the city. I just want to begin by saying, I'm holding this wine like during this. I just want to begin by saying, I live in Florida. I go to Disney often. I just adored the Beauty and the Beast show at Hollywood Studios. That's like the only reason I would go to Hollywood Studios to watch that show. And Belle, during that song, she's just very like proper and like happy like to the, all the townspeople and stuff and like sweet. And um... Emma was pretty much like a bitch. Like she had like this foul attitude during that song. She had like this foul attitude in the beginning of the movie. And I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? She wasn't like, oh, I'm a sweet little girl. No, no, she was a bitch. Like she didn't care for any of those bitches around the town. Like she was like, fuck you bitches. You, I don't care about you. I don't care about you. And so I wasn't like feeling it. Like I was like, okay girl, calm your tits. When I first heard the music come on, my face lit up. I was like so happy because I was like, oh my God, we're watching Beauty and the Beast. But then she was just like a bitch around the town. And I was like, um, um, <clears throat> bitch. Get with the program. As time went on during the movie, she loosened up. She had a good connection with the Beast. My only other concern with her was during the grand scene of Be a Guest. Be a Guest. Her emotions for me didn't add up to the animations. With her seeing all this bedazzling stuff, she was just like, like, <laughs> like, like I was just watching paint dry or something. She was like, she needed to be like, <gasps> what is this? She needed to look like she was entering like the real world house or the bad girls club house like what is this? What? She just was like not not doing it for me so that was my only other concern but in the end she warmed up to me a little bit more with the beast and I was like okay I guess I guess I'll give her like a gold star or some shit. These pots and chip were so cute and then the candlestick and uh, Lumiere and um and the clock guy, I don't know his name, they were so cute. I just enjoyed the film a lot. And it was gay. So, yay. And, um, I don't want to spoil too, too much. What else can I tell? I mean, I guess, like, if you go to watch it, you fucking know what happens in Beauty and the Beast. I love the scene where the wardrobe and the clock and the candlestick were all fighting the townspeople. And it was just, like, a really good moment. I enjoyed that scene. There was a quote. I cannot remember it verbatim, but with Belle and her father. She was helping him fix, like, a clock or something, and... She was like asking about being weird, like asked her father if he thought she was weird. And then he said to her, I knew a woman that was just like you. And everyone would say that she was weird and odd till they started to try to act like her. I don't know. It just stuck with me. It was something like that. Like, I can't remember the complete line, but I just loved it so much. And the story plot for Beauty and the Beast is just so beautiful. It's so sweet. Looks don't matter. Inner beauty matters. Like, fuck, you're, you're gonna be ugly and old and crinkly and, like, crispy one day, but what you have on your inside matters. How you treat people matters. And I just love that. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, there's not an end scene at the end of the movie. I waited for, like, fucking the credits to roll, the music to stop playing, everything was going on, and the, the lights turned on on the end, and the people were, like, trying to clean the theater because there was another show coming. I was like, there's not an end scene? What? 
So don't wait for the end scene. You'll waste 10 minutes of your life. Just wanted to let everyone know that I did enjoy Beauty and the Beast. I hope you, you guys enjoy it. The music was great and it was gay. Yay. If you like this video and you want a sip of my wine, you should give this video a thumbs up and comment. Tell me what you think about the Beauty and the Beast movie. Tell me what you liked or didn't like or are gonna like. Yeah, I want to thank you for watching. If you haven't watched my other videos, go watch them because I'm really weird and you can watch some weird videos of me. <laughs> and just remember, stay dandy.